really that has it is rap. It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and the question is, are you ready for some football? And we are underway in Buffalo. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Here we see the Bills' offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense could go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run with the goal. Shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear. But they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. The Ravens offense set to go to work. And it's Lamar Jackson now in his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. Early part of his career, defense has really had to focus on his running ability, and they still do. But now he's turned himself into a true dual-threat quarterback. When he plants his cleats in the ground and turns it loose, good things happen downfield. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown. Gabriel Davis, 48 yards. And the Bills will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they liked, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I Keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fair catch, going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Flush to his right. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nine. Sports. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. From the gun, it's Jackson. As they've got it with a second and four coming up. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough Accepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. 
On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And they may be content to take this 7-0 lead into the locker room. We'll see. Here's Allen on first and 10. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. To throw, it's Allen. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Eluding the pressure right. And that... Accepted. Guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. Here's the punter, Martin, now to kick it away. This is taken at the 23. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Tucker's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we reach intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we send you down, and just like that, on we head to half number two. Inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. For the fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Huntley. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. A solid stiff arm. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. What we saw there, that's what we know that he can do. He can break tackles and turn them into big runs, and that's what he did. And what is the buzz phrase nowadays in football for a guy like that? Contact balance. The ability to go through trash, come out hey! the other side, avoid and run through contact, and keep your balance. Pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Von Miller doing what he does best with a sack. Second down throw from Huntley. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down. But to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter. Back now in Buffalo. Here we go, Jack. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. 
Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Flushed out right. And he is going to have a Ravens first down. And that was something else. A big pickup on fourth and long to give him a new set of downs. Here's Huntley. Escaping the pressure right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They took their shot for the end zone. Almost cost him. And he made the right play there, knocking it away. But boy, it looked like he had a chance to come down with the football. And if he does that, this thing is over. Instead, he leaves him out there with another chance. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. Now Huntley. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. As a stopper with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Fourth down, Huntley. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. So the Bills now down 10-7. A little under 40 seconds to go. They need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and ten. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Just over 30 seconds remain. Here's second and ten now. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. That's caught by Diggs. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Oh, what a play. you got to use one of those timeouts. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. Throwing Allen on the slant. He's got Davis. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. And his kick here is good. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. I tell you the luck. from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. And we need overtime to decide this one.
So it's the Ravens who won the toss. They'll get the football first here in overtime as the kick is away. 25-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And after the field goal last time, let's see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. And he's going to have a Bills first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Allen going deep for Diggs. And he's got it inside the 10. And how about that? In a game that's had just about everything, how's that for an answer? Remember, in the past, this game would be over already. But that's a huge play there to give him a fighting chance to go down and possibly tie this game. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. It'll be their second and final timeout, remember, here in overtime. We'll be back. Ready, set. Throwing is Allen. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action, maybe throwing it. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Allen rolling to his right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Four yards there on the touchdown run. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. Times the spy. Because the guy is trying to keep up with, so 
usually gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. One overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very really frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And he'll get it inside the 35. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Huntley's throw complete there to Beckham. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 20-yard line. Here's Huntley. Flush to his right. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Now a second and six. Huntley off of play action. Finds his man over the middle, it's likely. Well, right now, every little bit of yardage helps. So they're, they're obviously well within his range. It's just about keeping the football and getting in the right spot. Know your kicker. Get, as you mentioned, get it to the right spot, the place that he wants. And he is in for the score. And it is absolute stunned silence here as they win it on the road in overtime. As the fans exit back out through the turnstiles, not happy looks on their faces. Feel like they probably let this one slip away at home in overtime. I would agree with that, and, and their unhappiness hurts the guys at the concession stands on the way out, right? <laughs> not stopping to buy something for the kids. They just want to get home. But what a dramatic way to finish this bad boy off. I mean, this game was dramatic all the way through. That's why we got to overtime. And then to go ahead and finish it this way, the fans screaming out unhappy, but the team that came in here and won this one on the road, they sprinted to their locker room. And speaking of buying things, dinner on you tonight, Davis. I kind of figured that was coming. That'll do it for us for Charles Davis and all.